Hey, what's up, you guys? And today's your lucky day because if you landed on this page and you started watching this video, um, this is the first tutorial on um, how to get started with OBS Studio. Basically, the reason why I'm doing this is because I've had a lot of people to ask me, how do you get such nice backgrounds? How do you, you know, play uh, videos on your show? How do you do all of these different things? So I've decided to go ahead and show you guys how I do everything that I do free of charge, no charge, no cost to you. But basically what I'm going to do is walk you through how to get started with OBS studio, how to get your audio, how your camera, um, your background, your, uh, uh, um, your text and everything on OBS studio. And we're going to make it as simple as possible. And it's very easy to do. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is, of course, go to the obsproject.com. I'll leave a link below so that you can go to this page. OBS Studio is a 100% free app and it's filled with tools. I mean, you can do everything on OBS Studio. I mean, the sky's the limit, what you can do on OBS Studio. When I say the sky's the limit, truly the sky is the limit. Um, I'll show you guys uh, some um, examples in, coming, in the coming future just to show you exactly how much you can really do with OBS Studio. But let's get started. Once again, you want to start right here at obsproject.com. Go here. Now, all depends. If you have a Windows laptop, um, you want to go here and click on Windows. Um, if you have a Mac or a Linux, okay, so I'm going to go here. I've already had, I have it installed, but I want to walk you guys through. So the first thing we're going to do is click on windows. The screen changes and it's downloading. As you can see in the lower area here, it's going to download the app instantly. It's really quick. Then you want to open that app. Um, I'll just click on it here. So it's saying it's opening OBS because I already have it installed. Do you want to, uh, disallow? Uh, it's going to ask you, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You want to click yes and follow the instructions. Okay. Um, once again, I'm, I've already, uh, been connected to, um, OBS. I mean, I already have OBS installed. So you guys go ahead and get that done. Um, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay. Okay. So we are back and this is what you should be looking at right now. This is how the OBS platform looks. This is how it's set up. So the first thing that I want to do is explain to you everything that you're looking at, what you're going to be using. This is just the basics, okay? Uh, because I want to make it easy for you so you can go ahead and get started on making those videos for YouTube, Facebook, or whatever you're going to be using your platform for. So let's start in the lower left-hand corner where it says scenes. This is where everything, this is where you're going to first begin is your scene. You have to create a scene um in order to put it all together so and then here you have your sources this is where you get all of your tools where you're going to add your camera your text um, um you name it uh, media footage everything right here in this area where it says sources then here we we'll go here to where it says under the controls you're going to see a place for to where you can ha do your live streaming where it says start streaming that's when you can stream live on things like uh facebook youtube you name it um, and then you have uh, recording and recording is you can actually pre-record and then you can do your editing and things of that nature as well. Um, below that, you have the virtual camera. The virtual camera is so awesome. If you do any like Zoom or Skype meetings or anything like that, um, you could use the virtual camera, which OBS has uh, recently added. Um, this platform is so awesome. You know, you're going to be able to do everything that you normally do. And again, this is a totally 100% free, um, software. Okay. And below that you have the studio mode, uh, which the studio mode is like if you're live and you know, the, the screen looks like this and you want to, you know, preset up something and then, you know, uh, go over to, uh, that particular shot there. That's what the studio mode is for your settings. Of course, I'll go into that. I'll go into that on another tutorial. Um, and, and of course, you have the exit. Um, uh, next to that, you have the audio mixer. Now, on the audio mixer, as you can see here, 
Um, on the audio mixer, you can see the levels mo moving back and forth because that's me, of course, talking. Um, and so this is a basic, basic setup. You have an area here where it says properties and filters. I'll get into that later. And of course, here you have your preview screen. This is where you're going to see everything that you're putting together, where all of your magic is going to take place right here on this screen here. Now, up top, there's a place for th that says file, edit, view, profile, scene collection, tools, and help. We'll get into that another time as well. So for right now, these are the basics. This is how you get started, okay? All you have to do, number one, first things first, you want to go here uh, to your scenes area because you want to pick a scene for your first setup. Um, you're going to click that that button and then you know name your scene whatever you want to name it and click OK I've already named the scene you're looking at it and it's called uh, OBS studio tutorial step one okay that's where we are now I'm gonna go here Sec the second step is you go to sources which is right here this area here you're gonna go down to that little plus arrow click on that plus arrow just like that first thing I like to do is add a background um, if you want to add like a Animated background, you would actually go to media source. Me, I like a, for this, we're just going to use a still background. So I'm just going to click on image. I'm going to click OK. Um, now you're going to see this box pop up here. You want to click browse. All right, I already have some pictures here. I'm just going to choose one. Boom, voila. It comes up in the preview window. That's the one you, I want. So I'll click OK. Now we're going to enlarge this so to fit to the screen. There we go. And voila, there you have it. Now you have your background. Now you're ready to get started. Now, the second thing I do after that, after I put my first background in, uh, I like to bring in my camera. So we're going to go back here to sources. You see that plus button? Once again, click on that. We're going to go up to where it says video capture device. All right. Click on the video capture device. Um, I already have cameras that, you know, they're, that are existing. You, you'll just click OK. Me, I'm going to go down here to where it says add existing. I'm going to click Acaso 2 and click OK. Voila. Now, what you're seeing is the raw footage. All right. Remember, we put a background in there, but we haven't done any work yet. The basic way of doing this, just to make it uh, simple, you guys just make sure you subscribe and I'll show you how to do chromo keying and all that stuff in one simple step. It's so easy. But you make sure you subscribe and you'll get to see the rest of the tutorials. And I'm going to walk you do, through, whereas you're just an expert. It's so easy to use. But anyway, I'm going to go here to filters because I do have some presets. Boom. I'm going to take out the background. I'm even going to do my little crop in there. Voila. So now the background is gone. As you can see, I can make it. Actually, what I like to do is just make this bigger like that. Okay. That way, you know, I can crop out the, 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 you know, the left, this side here. I can crop that out. But I'm just showing you the basics of how you uh, get yourself in there. Um, now you can see I'm in the camera or whatever. Even if you wanted to go back down here to sources, you can just add just about anything you want. I'm just, let's say if you want to add a text uh, on the side, um, I'm just going to click OK. And I'm just going to put my name up there. All right. So it's done. Voila. That's my name. It's up there. There's so much. Uh oh, there's so much that you can do here is ridiculous. You know, um, <clears throat> I made it upside down. So let me fix that real quick. That's me going too fast. But anyway, I mean, you can play with that. Put it wherever you want. You can change the color of it. You can change the font. Um, and I'm just showing you the basics. Now you're started. Now, let's just say. Um, you want to record this now you just simply go to click recording hey go to work you know just record stop recording as many times as it take until you get it right um, but it's very simple this these are the basics look you guys if you want to learn more all right but start with one and then check out my next tutorial which I will show you next and we'll move to step two like doing the um, changing of your background we will taking out the background the green screen like I had and so you can be in front of any kind of you know, background that you want. And the camera that I'm using is called an Acaso 4. I'm going to leave that down in the links below. Um, but this particular camera um, was less than 100 bucks. It does a great job. It's just like the uh, GoPro. 
except it's less than a hundred bucks. It's like seventy nine ninety nine, I think. Um, I got mine from Amazon. I will leave the link below once again. All right, I'm going to show you how to do this stuff without spending a lot of money. With that being said, thank you guys for joining me. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you please subscribe um, to this channel, and I will help you free of charge. No, you know, no strings attached. All right, thanks a lot.